Hi guys, so today I'm coming at you with a brand new video. It's going to be a tutorial on this look right here that I have, that I'm wearing I should say. I got requested to do the makeup look that I wore in my Wonder 2 Wonder Brow tutorial. I'll show you right now. And as you can see, I tried to replicate it as best as I could. It was, it's been a while since I did this. It's, it was November of 2016 when I did this look and I have a hard time remembering how I did tutorials because I just, I do the look and then I don't think about it again. And then someone requests that I do it months later and I'm like, ooh, I don't remember how to do it. But um, actually, I think I did pretty well. So for this tutorial, I used the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. This little beauty. And I don't actually know if I used this palette to do the original. I know that I used this shade right here to do the original, but I just picked. I mean, it's like you can do any look with any palette that you want. And it will turn out, as long as you have the same colors, it'll turn out the same. You don't have to have every palette that comes out if you have a palette that has the similar colors in it. So anyway, um, if you guys want to see how to get this look, um, please keep on watching. Okay, so to start off this look, I'm first going to take a transition shade using my Morphe M504 brush. And I'm going to take the shade Suede. And I'm going to put it all in, all over my lid. Okay, and I also forgot that for this look, I want to use some tape because I want the edges to look really sharp. Um, I normally don't ever use tape, but I'm going to use some regular old um, scotch tape, I think that's what it's called. That's how little I use this tape. And I don't want to mess up my face makeup. So what I want to do is, since this is pretty sticky, I want to put it on my shirt and kind of get the stickiness off of it by getting the fuzz that's on my shirt onto the tape. And in doing that, it's gonna make it a lot less sticky and it's gonna make it so that it doesn't take off your face makeup. Okay, and hopefully they're on there pretty even. I know it looks kind of dirty and that's just because I've been getting the lint off of my shirt. So it looks a little bit odd, but I'm gonna go back in with that shade that I used in the beginning so that it makes a sharp edge and it goes all the way out to where the tape is. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to also put that same shade, Suede, in my bottom lash line. Okay, so now that I have that down, I'm going to go straight into the dark shade here. Um, I'm going to take Stone. And the reason I'm not going straight into this shade Jet, which is like the black black shade, is because I want to transition it a little bit. I don't want to go straight into the black and then not be able to work with it. So I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller brush. I'm going to take the Morphe M330. That's a little bit smaller than the previous brush. And I'm going to take that stone shade and I'm applying it on my lid almost the same way that I applied the earlier shade, Suede. That's like a tongue twister. And I'm going to go a little bit lower than it, than the Suede shade, because I don't want the transition shade to fade into oblivion. I still want it to look like it's there. And this is going all over the lid. Okay, so now that I've tried to get that as smooth as I possibly could, I'm going to take the brush that I was using earlier, the M504, and I'm going to smoke it out as much as I can, just to blend it, make it look very seamless. 
Okay, now I'm going to go into the Morphe M514 brush and I'm going to take the black black shade, which is Jet. And I'm going to take it on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the stone shade. I'm going to go a little bit lower than the last shade that I applied. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the Morphe M504 brush and I'm blending once again. Okay, so now that I'm done with the top, um, or at least I think I am, we'll see once I take the tape off if I'm done or not. Because um, sometimes the tape trick makes it a little uneven. So I'm going to take the tape off. Hopefully I didn't take off too much makeup. That's a crisp line. And it still managed to take off some face makeup, but that's okay. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Um, I think now I'm gonna do my bottom lash line. In the look, I didn't have a black bottom lash line, as you can see. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not black. It's more purplish. So I'm gonna take the shade Ribbon. And I'm gonna take a Coastal Scents brush that's kind of shaped like a V. I don't even know what to call it. And I'm going to apply it to my bottom lash line. Okay, I'm gonna take the same brush and take Stone, that dark gray shade. And I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of the bottom lash line to make a nice transition. Okay, now I'm going to take a purple eyeliner. I'm going to take my LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in Black Amethyst and line my waterline. Okay, now I'm going to take a really small detail brush from Coastal Scents. I'm going to take the Metal Matte Palette again and take the shade Ignite. And I don't think I'll even have to wet the brush for this because of how pigmented the, the metal shades are. And I'm going to apply that to my inner corner. Okay, and now I'm going to apply some black eyeliner and I'm just applying it to my upper lash line. I'm not going to make a wing. And the lashes that I used in this look were from Slashes Co. And they were the Mink Lashes in Butterfly. I'm going to put on my mascara and apply these off camera. I'll be right back. And now as the final step for the eyes, I'm going to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to take the Carly Bible palette and take the lightest shade, this one, and brighten up the brow bone. And finally for the lips, I'm going to take my NYX Lip Lingerie in Satin Ribbon because I used a really light lip color in the Wonderbrow picture. Okay, this might be a tad bit too light. It's like literally the same color as my skin. <sighs> I'm going, <laughs> I'm gonna go with a very slightly darker shade. I'm gonna take Bedtime Flirt instead. Okay, this color is a million times better. It suits the look and it doesn't wash my lips out. And um, the sun decided to come out for some reason. 
Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's a bit dark. It's a bit... I mean, it's pretty dark. It's not an everyday look, that's for sure. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!